Well, the technical glitch is mounting, but now one lawmaker says after the lousy rollout of those new health care exchanges, HHS Secretary Kathleen Sebelius should be forced out. Republican Senator Pat Roberts saying Sebelius should resign for gross incompetence. No response yet from Secretary Sebelius, but we'll keep you posted. And then there's this. I'm going to suggest a model for how we turn this country around in the next couple of years. And it is the model that we have been following together for the last couple of months to stop that train wreck, that disaster, that nightmare that is Obamacare. Republican Senator Ted Cruz not letting up on his fight to stop Obamacare, even as Republicans appear closer to a deal to end the government shutdown. So how should the GOP proceed on this particular issue? Jedediah Diabila says keep the fight going. Tammy Bruce says let Obamacare collapse under its own weight. So Tammy, you disagree with Senator Cruz's strategy here. Why? Well, you know, obviously our goal is the same. There's got to be an annihilation of this monster. So my feeling is, and I think what we've seen over the last, well, since the launch of Obamacare is exactly this, that the American people have been shocked, uh, that they've not even been able to get a website correct, let alone if they have any idea how to deliver health care. Uh, the sticker shock is happening. And so now we have a much clearer view that Obamacare will collapse under its own weight. And my, uh, what I contend, Jenna, is that we will have a faster annihilation of Obamacare by not defunding and by not delaying. I don't want, to, I don't want the American people to have this thing limping along. I want us to be able to repeal it uh, to the ultimate end of this thing. And I think that the way that it's going to unfold will bring the American people together. And no matter who's in the White House, we'll be able to get a repeal of this thing. You know, Jedediah, to Tammy's point, Daniel Henninger in the Wall Street Journal a few weeks ago said precisely the same thing, that this could be the biggest defeat for entitlement programs. Programs. Mm -hmm. Just if you let it go, yes. let it be a disaster. Mm -hmm. So why do you believe that the fight needs to continue directly on it? Because I want political consistency from the right. For once, we have Mike Lee, we have Ted Cruz, we have several Republicans out there not only willing to fight, but being consistent, saying we ran on this, we ran on defunding Obamacare, repealing Obamacare. Now we're fighting for it. I think it would be very strange after all these Republicans came out, fought for defunding, have a ton of people behind them now, ton of conservatives, grassroots people, for them to step back and say, you know what? We're just going to let this fall apart. I say you can do both. This law is going to fall apart. We see that happening every single day. We wake up to a new component of the law that's problematic, the newest being the website that's an absolute disaster. So let the law fall apart. And behind it, I want standing Republicans who have been consistent on the issue, who have said, who can point to that website and say, hey, guys, this is why we are fighting to defund, but because it, this is just one part of this law that is falling apart, one part of many. And Tammy, to that point, to Jedediah's point, Republicans had mm -hmm. fundraised on this as well. Well, so can sure. they now say we're not going to sure. comment on it after getting donor, donors oh, to donate oh, it's money? Not on about, that? Look, the public, no, look, the public comment and the public arguments have to continue to happen. There's going to be one hero at the end of this, and it's going to be Ted Cruz. The goal has been to hopefully repeal and annihilate Obamacare. And if, in fact, as we've seen this change, the smartest thing to do would be to adapt to that. I'm not suggesting anybody be quiet. We've also got to make sure the American people, through new and social media and through senators like like. Cruz and, and Mike Lee, that the American people understand exactly what's happening. They already do personally because of the premium issue. But the reality is they need to continue to have this argument. The public argument has to be aggressive. But at the, at the same time, if they move to allow a delay now or a defund and the, and the Democrats pick up on that because they know what I know, uh, they know that if, in fact, this gets a breather, it will never go away. So we need to be very careful when it comes to how we accomplish this annihilation. Jedediah, a final point from you. What about putting all the resources and energy towards something else, like the next elections, like making sure the Republicans get back the Senate or get the White House? Well, that's important. I mean, as we're seeing, elections have consequences. One of the consequences was that Barack Obama got reelected, and now we are dealing with Obamacare. We're not dealing with a President Mitt Romney who would have made repeal a priority. So I think absolutely. And I would also say priority for Republicans should be messaging. The problem, the reason that Republicans are getting blamed so heavily for the shutdown is because they didn't message properly initially. They should have come out. They should have explained the shutdown. They should have explained what a partial shutdown means. They should have explained what Harry Reid was and, what, and wasn't willing to do in terms of negotiation. You have, to, you have to lead on offense, not defense. And that's the way you win arguments. So win elections, win on messaging, I think would have put them in a much better spot than they are Jedediah, today. Jedediah, Tammy, if, great if to have you both here. I'm going to have to run, right. but appreciate the conversation. It was a good one. Thank, Thank you. you so sure. much. Appreciate it.